Hello and welcome back to another live. So today, love, it was all of the sudden, like early. So I hope that everyone is here, but I'm very positive that that Wi-Fi is going to be good during this time. But at least I get my coffee. I had like, I was like out of coffee, so I had like to go fast and grab another one. <laughs> so yes. So if you notice, I said the Klika. So the word Klika is a so clicas has so many, it means the gang or like the friends that are always like together or the group of people. So clica is always used for like a, like a group of people. So I said clica because, because like we're all like talking on WhatsApp group, like, and you know, just like, you know, like uh, saying different things. So yes, clica is like a slang word that we use. Okay, so um, Salam Blanca, Shivam, uh, Rita, Isabella, um, Yula, Salam Alaikum, Hafida, Ntia. Who is Hafida? <laughs> I had girl. Hafida, Ntia, Tiana. Oh, yeah, you're talking about like your friend, Hafida. Salam Hafida. How are you? Nabas Alik? Marhabadik? Blanca? Okay, so as we have all click here, I'm, I'm very positive. I'm so happy that uh, we did that area today because I feel like it's going to work much better before like it's going, the Wi-Fi is going down during the night, so yeah. Okay, she confirm Anna who is with us. I'll be happy to start with the questions and um, click up. Also use in second slash means the same thing. Nice. <laughs> click up. Yes, group of people who are like always like together could mean like the gang, depending on how you use it, honestly. Yeah, I said uh, too many times, like, uh, there is, like, like, you would find a lot of words from Spanish, from Portuguese, you would find it from uh, modern standard Arabic, from French, so, or Berber, it's just, like, a mix of languages, <laughs> kind of, which is, make, that's what makes it unique, that's what makes it unique. Okay, so, yes, in the morning, we were talking about time expressions, we haven't done all of them, but it was good that we talked about Different things. Yeah, I think like um, the same, like for like in click. <laughs> it's like what had the click like a certain like, uh, especially in university and um, high school, it's always like there is like click of people and we say like had click click, that's click, had click click. Yeah, but it's like a nice, like easy word to say. I need to go back to Darija quickly. Ah, oh, yes, Sapita, I knew that. Um, yes, yes, absolutely. Like uh, lately we were talking about the pronunciation and how to pronounce words right, like we did, did like yesterday and slightly we talked about it in the morning, how to pr pronounce the words correctly. And it's uh, very important, I always say, it's about like uh, mouth movements, it's about, um, how to breathe and it's about muscles. So if you found something difficult, it's probably because you do something like wrong or something not like uh, completely right. So whenever we go into the lesson, we go into like lit like a like a time, like a period of time just like for pronunciation. high school the the We we see tena we are is oh I wasn't typing. Tana Mia is high school. Tana Mia. Tana Mia. Tana Tana Mia. Tana Mia. Tana Mia is winner. Like it's a very beautiful period of time, honestly. Tana Mia. Tana Mia. Maybe I will check with you for a week uh, of privileges and athletic. I'm very behind. Yeah. Uh, we can do that we can like really focus and just like uh, work on it like and I know like you need it because 
uh, you getting married soon, which is like a very happy news. I'm I'm so happy to hear that. So yes, but I'm 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 a, I'm a pretty positive that you're going to pick it like very fast because when you feel like the need of like learning something fast, you just do it. Uh, okay, keep uh, Yes, so Isabella, yes, we say like ten a year, ten a year high school. Hmm. Uh, yes, guys, we're going to start with the questions and we're going to close with questions. So uh, if you have any question, we can start with it or we can just like start like um, directly with the time expressions and uh, work on the pronunciation of each one of them. And whenever like you work on pronunciation of something and then you add the other word and the other word, it just like, gets better and better and it gets easier and easier. So this is why I want like to focus on it from the beginning. So in the morning we talked about like the nights or the cup. <laughs> so it's here. Uh, we talked about like um fat, if you remember, Simena Lifat, like sweet. We talked about Libara and um Nhar Jmaan Hal Khmis. How do I say I'm very happy to get married with your song? It's come on like fesh kadgulu. Shnulmena is gives the meaning of like what's the meaning of something. Shnukat guru is like what do you say for? So both of them are okay, uh, but uh, what's most common? Shnu we say shnulmena diel, shnulmena diel, and we add of shnulmena de, shnulmena de hadi. She already know, but I want to learn. Yeah. Okay. No, no, um, Isabella, you will just say, tell her like Mabrook without the A because Mabrook is like very general. We just say like Mabrook, we don't have like really to say um, Mabrooka. Um, okay. I'm very happy you will see Anna. Farhana, Farhana, Zaf, Hit, Ranzuj, Ranzuj, Bulbek. Okay, Anna Farhana Zaf. I'm very happy. Anna Farhan. Excuse me. أنا فرحانة بزاف أنا فرحانة بزاف heat is because we use like mostly because because we don't have to get because because we say heat hint غنزوج is I will marry I will get married بولدك بولدك okay so let me repeat pronunciation of this and then see like what what like other questions أنا فرحانة أنا أنا فرحانة فرحانة. so I'm always saying with the فرحانة فرحانة heat فرحانة بزاف like بزاف is like really easy to say heat heat so for heat you have to say e e heat غنزوج 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 بولدك 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 okay uh, that's give the meaning I wish you uh, like a blessed day, but it is, and we don't say it this way, it's like wrong. You will tell her, like, what are you doing? She has a, I wish you something. Yes. Oh, you asked something? I'm sorry, I haven't, so I was like just like looking down and I haven't seen like a pause. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Um, you said I have a question, but maybe you already said it. How to say I wish you something. You would say, Kant Minnalik Chihara. Kant Minnalik. You see, Kant Minnalik mostly. And Minna. 
technique key head up. okay i wish you a good day i wish you the best so we just like say uh we just like saying harm broke. We mostly just like saying harm broke. Okay. Which means like, uh, have a blessed day. Okay, slash. We can say also, let me, I'm thinking about like, if we have like, I wish you the best day. Can't mean like, You would say, can I'm just writing, when I finish, I'm going like to, can't um, mean I wish you the best day, but we don't like, we rarely say it, we don't say it, we just like, and heart broke, or, uh, yeah, we just like saying Harkin broke. We just saying Harkin broke. Okay, let me go back and see. Blanca, if we sit in some in Sarah, like in Harkin broke, is going to be like, I wish you or I wish to you uh, your blessed day. So we can't like see your best because Naharak is your day. So we can't say that. Ashkadiri. She had one, that's correct. Uh, I'm even able to join class today. You're not, you're enabled to join the class today? Why? Uh, ER, uh, Salam, I don't know, like, what's your name, but Salam. Hassan Khatib, what do you mean, Ashkad Diri Naya? We are teaching, <laughs> I'm teaching. Had um, Said, no, Had Said, Had with the Had sounds like Alhamdulillah, Had Said, Had Said. We can write this also like Had Said, which mean uh, good luck, good luck, Had Said, good luck. <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, Ashka Diri, now who's talking to, it's like, it's talking to one of, like, uh, the people over here, or it's talking to me, like, I don't know, like, what, if, like, you mean, like, strictly what am I teaching today, is that what you mean? Yes, that's, like, uh, just by itself, when you're talking about, like, not, not zar, zar, zhar, 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 it's mean luck. Zahar is luck because when you take it by like by itself. For example, and the zahar you have the luck. Uh, so when we like just the expression of like good luck that we use had in it, but the other one we use like just zahar. And to say someone is like uh, he is like for example lucky, we say and do zahar, and do zahar. He is lucky. For example, and how is her? She's lucky. Uh, and from her, you are lucky. But this is plural. Yes. And this is her malcolm. <laughs> yes, that's like really good. So what Hassan said, like, I have luck with you. Like, I have a good luck with you. I have luck. What Wakha mean? Wakha, it means okay. It depends. If it's just by itself, it means okay, all right. But if it's like in the beginning of sentences, it gives the meaning of is it possible to do something. Like in questions, Wakha, ji, can you come? So it gives the meaning of like, is it possible for me to do something or like to someone do something? So when it's by itself, it's just like waha, it means okay. When it's sentence, it means is it okay if it's like you use it in a question. Um, 
Does the female name means luck? Yes, Zahira is mean like um, kind of the word luck, but kind of cuter way of saying luck. Zahira, it came like from two ways. Like there is like a like a, a flower. It's called like um, like Zahra, like a flower. Um, so it's like kind of like the name of like the flower and the luck. So yeah, it's like a really nice name. What what I mean? Oh, I see things. Zahri wish. Zahri wish is like. A, it's like I have a bad luck, but it's mean like my luck is like bending. It's not like a uh, straight. Okay. So when we say like um, Zahri, I wish, which mean like Zahri is not like not straight. If anything I want to do is like something like happen. So yes, it's like funny way to say like Zahri, I wish. And but tawfiq mean yes, but tawfiq it means good luck also. But tawfiq actually is like more used than like um and al had. You wish that person who is studying, yes, uh, who is studying and who is going for an interview and uh, for uh, people who are like uh, trying to start like a business or like an idea, you can see tawfiq, but tawfiq, uh, exactly how you wrote it, and it's like a really good way. I have a question. Are you, um, are there certain tutorial type in Morocco? For example, in America, we have, uh, think of Morocco in California as surfers and skaters, and they are often laid back. In Texas, if you go and uh, go to Vicky and be known to ride horses. Yes, of course, we do have stereotypes. So people in Casablanca, they are more known of, um, not being scared of anything and having like uh, being like very manly and using a lot of slings and uh, yes uh, in Rabat you will find like all the mix of people you will find surfers but I get there actually they are like you would find the surfers and people who are like lead back you would find them in uh, Agadir uh, in uh, Rabat in a certain place in Rabat because Rabat has like a different area find like a certain place just for skaters you'd find in like all the skaters are there like smoking weed and all of this um so you would see like um mostly you would find surface in agadir and um uh, and rabat so in um in the shamel in the north where blanca is uh, you will find most of people smoking weed they are very known of like smoking weed and they are like relax and like uh, you would like take everything slow uh yeah we get to back to that in a minute for kinetra in that almost the same as sally but i'm going to back to it so in the north uh people over there knowing of like good fish if you want to eat like a very good fish and a good weed go to the north that's the best yeah nick sheesh. yes weed is the sheesh. Yes, <laughs> yes, a lot of people like smoking weed in more like al uh, hashish in Morocco. Um, even like in Rabat, actually, they are smoking it. Like, okay, so when I was in a in like just like went to college, I had a lot of uh friends and guy friends who are skaters, and all of them they were smoking weed. And actually, they were smoking weed in a certain place that is known, and uh, uh, cops they would like walk by and never talk with them. Actually, like some some cops, they are already smoking with as well. So, uh, especially in the north, like no one will talk to you. Uh, okay, so in Kinitra, in Kinitra, you would find like um, okay, so certain places that are like really dangerous, and if you went to the center, of and like very normal people, you find like just like very normal people, you wouldn't find like uh, you know skaters, and you know you would just normal people there is like nothing like um much to say about kin like about kinetra uh, okay i'm taking notes <laughs> no, there we go <laughs> yes but also you would find like some places in robot that they sell weed if someone like in uh, robot and want to what about in jadida 
Jadida. Actually, Jadida, I think, was also, like, have, like, a good place for, like, fish and stuff. But uh, this is what I know about Jadida. I don't know much about Jadida. Uh, well, you never told me. I don't, like, you didn't tell me, like, do you do have, like, um, like a group? Uh, I had no idea. Okay, but you can like, send me the link. I might join. I have a question about Bzahtik. In France, we ha we hear it a lot, uh, but I don't figure out really what does it mean and we use it. We use it in a different ways, and I'm glad that you like you um, you asked. Uh, okay, the hashish is the reason really different from smoking marijuana in the states. We do have marijuana. It's called marijuana, and uh, I, I know a lot of. People in Morocco, they grow marijuana in their houses and they smoke marijuana. So hashish is not, I think, I don't think it's, it's different from smoking marijuana, but we, in Morocco, we do have wood. Yes, yes, we do have like marijuana and we do have like hashish. I don't know the difference because I don't smoke. So, but my friends, like, they do like smoke wood. Used to be my friends. I don't see them anymore. <laughs> it's been like long. Um, okay, let me see if I answered everything. Okay, the weed is the food if the plants in Morocco they feed the cut the key feet in the Um yeah, I don't know like much about like the difference between weed and or hashish and all of that, but they do have like all of them and they smoke all of them. So Amari Bsahtek. Bsahtek we mean like uh like uh when you get something new, for example, I can tell you Bsahtek. When you eat and finish eating, I can sip sahtik. When you go to hammam and uh, you know just wash and feel good, I will sip sahtik to your health, your health, and uh, to your health. And uh, we can use uh, sahtik to. Um... Okay, so what is this? Uh, if you bought like something new, like a new clothes, I will sip sahtik. Um... New makeup, sahtik, new anything like new, you will get something new. You will get people going to tell you like sahtik. Um, so yes, it's mean like just like, uh, um, I don't know if it's like the equivalent in English, but Bzahtik is mean like, it's like either with the food is like to your head, with the clothes and all of that, it's mean like, I would say like that in English, but it's like we use it like when we, someone is seen. Moroccan hashes is really missing in France right now <laughs> because of the word clothes. <laughs> yes, there is actually like a place in Morocco. Uh, is like they grow weed and actually cops can, can't go over there because they will find, like cops will fall in trouble if they were to like over there. It's like very serious place. Uh, yes, my future father in love smoke weed. Uh, I mean, like okay, so the families is like very different in Morocco, and a lot of uh, people in um, a lot of people in Morocco, they are like uh, smoking weed and they are drinking, but like they don't do like that in public. They would do it privately, especially with drinking alcohol. And uh, especially like the high society, people who are rich, they all like smoking. Even like the king smoking weed. Uh, his sister is like getting drunk. And yeah, I'm going to the jail for that. <laughs> I'm not supposed to talk about all of this. But like, yeah, I hear that. Um, so it's like something like people do like. Let me read my future father in love smoke weed. Yes, they do like in Marrakesh. In Marrakesh you would find like people getting drunk and everyone smoke. That does something. Omar, Omar. Who said that? Omar? Okay, Omar, uh, it's my, it is illegal, but so people, it says like, I've been seeing it, if, okay, when I was in university, like for the whole four years, I had friends who smoking weed in a certain place in Rabat, 
in form of like cops, like in form of cops, and never one like talk to them. They will still like hide it because you have to be private. You, you're not going to go walk and smoke outside to so that everyone going to see you. But people do smoke weed and they do grow weed. If you go into Google and like look for like where they grow weed, I forgot the name of the place, but it's somewhere in the north. There is like a huge, like a huge, huge, huge place that they grow the grow weed. So it, even if it's illegal, there's like a huge place and everyone knows it and you can't stop them. So, and there is like a documentary, like actually it was like, a, uh, I think like in a, a geography, like National Geography, you might like find that on YouTube and like you can uh, uh, like uh, Google, like um, or put on YouTube, like uh, growing weed in Morocco, like places uh, like that they grow weed. And you will find like, it's like a huge place, all of it just green, just weed. So yes, it is. Um, it, it is like illegal, but everyone do it. So a lot of things is illegal in Morocco. So I, I think like I would advise people like not like just to read what's on paper because what's in reality is way too different. So what's in like uh, the book that like the store is different, but what happens in Morocco is different. People smoke that long people how was good. Uh, I think it's called pipa or something. Like I, I like it. Like we had like a teacher who was always like putting the pipa in, in his uh, sipsi. Uh, no, no, it's like sipsi is the long one, but the one that like has like just like um, like that like a papaya and zaytuna, like that like cartoon like he used to have. It's called another thing. No, no, it's not. She's not talking about shisha. Shisha, we say shisha, and uh, sipsi is like very long, and they put something in it. And um, I think what she's like talking about, like the pipe is like uh, like very small. I think it's like called pipa or something. It's like a different one. That one, long. Ah, yeah, you're talking about the long one. The long one is called sipsi. The short one, I think it's like pipa. I'm not sure about that. And uh, shisha, you would like, if someone going to Marrakesh, everyone like going for shisha. <laughs> uh, Casablanca and Marrakesh. And Agadir, are you talking about, okay, so in the north smoke a lot, but I was saying when I went to Morocco, the people in the north smoke a lot in the Qahwa, but in the south, smoke almost in Marrakesh, they can't, they are so much worse. Of course, you can't like smoke weed in the coffees. Um, I would, the, the, what I was talking about, like my friends, they were like smoking in a garden, uh, and, and you know that stereo like stereotype of like hippies like uh, hippies like people and they would like just smoke weed. In Marrakesh, my sick father met a man. They talk about weed and bring him into the house and the salon and follow up smoking weed. My sick father was in heaven. <laughs> Maria, I see. <laughs> Toka is not a thing. I don't know what a toka is. What is hookah? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, yes, Shamali Kahwa did you smoke, smoke in the coffees in Rabat? No, but you see, can smoke in your house, so anywhere, somewhere like uh, like far away from people. You're not going to bother them with like the smoke and all. But yes, Salam, I didn't know you started it. Ah, yes, yeah, Started the, today like earlier because I uh, you are um you're not on the free WhatsApp group right so I said that in now because like always like the Wi-Fi gets so bad uh during like late when it's like ten or 10 in a few minutes so we decided to start early and um, check if it's going to work well and I think it's like working good now right so we already been here for thirty minutes so I think it's like going great alhamdulillah. So yes, do you have uh, guys any more questions? We were like just talking about like uh, the stereotype in Morocco and weed in Morocco. <laughs> uh, actually, there are also like some um, places where they sell alcohol beside like uh, good like big supermarkets. Uh, so big supermarkets in Rabat they do have like a section for um, alcohol. So they have all different ways of alcohol, and. Um, uh, yes, it's like uh, sometimes like okay. So there is like a place where it's called 
there is a place in um, in Rabat, somewhere in Rabat, it's called like, in Agdal, and it's like specifically for uh, all kind of alcohol. So you find everything you need, like from Jack Daniel to red wine to white wine, all of that. So, so it is like um, they are like stealing alcohol somewhere, some places in Rabat. Like Shisha? Could be. It's just a different name. Need to buy address. How do I say I need to buy address? That's a good question. Copy. You will say Khasni. You remember before we were talking about when you see like I need, you would use Khasni. I need or I have to or I need to. We say Khasni. Khasni Nishri. Uh, Kiswa. Kiswa is a dress. Kiswa. So if like you talking about like the wooden dress, so you have to use like um kiswa dress. Okay, khasni, khasni, nishri, kiswa. Khasni, nishri, kiswa. Um, in generalities, how come the people in the South are more uh, conservative in the North? Who told you? Um, okay. How told you that? Like, uh, okay, so if you're talking about like very uh, in the south, like really in the south, like you southern, like of Morocco, you're talking about Sahara. Okay, what did I write? Hasnin Shirik Kaswa. No, no, Kaswa in standard Arabic. Kiswa, but in Dalija we see Kiswa, Kiswa. So there is like no vowel between uh, K and S. Has nishri Kiswa, Kiswa. So you don't see Kiswa, we see Kiswa. Uh, okay, so um, I'm going to answer Don first. Don, uh, if you are talking about the south, like the very south of Morocco, yes, they are conservative, uh, conservative because like, they are like a very um, how to say, like, Titan, like, they want, like, to keep their culture and their religion as it is, as in the past. And uh, people in, like, and not a lot of tourists, like, come over there. And, like, they are, like, just, like, few people. So there are not, like, a lot of people in the South. Uh, when you're talking about, like, the middle and the north of people, like, um, they have, like, more, like, tourists and they see a lot of things. And there are a lot of people, like, and they are, like, um, kind of, like, exchanging. There, as, there is, like, a, lot, a variety of cultures uh in like Rabat, Aslanka, Agadir, uh, North. So like there is variety which is help like people like to see different culture and be like open-minded, more open-minded. And uh, so this is what I can say, but uh it's just like in very south like and, and small villages and all of this, they are still like very religious and like uh stuck like sticking with their culture and religion. Mm, yeah, and just like being very strict. And so also in the reef, they are like very strict. Like people in reef, they are very strict. Okay, so let me say, uh, so so like I see, uh, the student visa, my best, my best broken Daisha and English ever. Um, yes, happy that, um, Isabella, if you like send uh, Hafida my number, I'm going to explain to her the process. Actually, when you go to if you, if she's if she's living in Rabat, so there is like a place in uh, Agdal where you go and um, what is it called? I forgot like what's called the place, but I went to uh, like an office, like uh, American office, uh, and you uh, she she would ask him for free, and she gave me a book and she explained everything to me. So the process, process like almost like take a year. So she have like to first have like the TOEFL exam, like uh, teaching is like um, TOEFL. Like. She says so she that's like they would see like her level in English, and when she have like that, that she can like before it like apply for any American school. When she apply, like she have to wait for acceptance letter from them. When she have the accident, then like she can apply for the visa. She can't apply the visa before that. She have to have the acceptance from the school first, like in the state, like when they send her the letter that they accepted her, and then she can apply for the visa. 
and the visa is like depending like they will ask you if you have like enough money where you're going to leave and you know they will like uh, see if you're going to make it over there uh in set one you can buy alcohol in carrefour yes in the same like we do have carrefour and margin this they do buy alcohol um there is like also like some like places that this is just the alcohol like hiding in garage behind the supermarkets actually it's like in a section like the the very big uh carrefour in uh, rabat they do have like a section but it's mostly like just like tourists that they go there and foreigners you know uh okay it's a fifth and then you can see some robots Yes, Hasnin Shri, yeah, as Omar like wrote it, is correct. Isabella, what should we take? Swa, what should we take? Swa, swa. I think like Rita was asked that, no? Comparing North and South Tangier and Marrakesh and Agadir. If I'm comparing like the North to South Tangier to Marrakesh, okay, so. Uh, if we are talking, I don't know like, what you mean here, but hold on. People in the north, like, um, so, okay, so when you, we're talking about uh, Marrakesh, Agadir, and um, Casablanca, and, you know, Rabat, you will find like, people with tattoos, that, that, that's fine. You'll find people with, with crazy, like they can like have like that emo style. You will find all the certain people, like it's like very diverse. Uh, in the South, they are like still like a little bit like, uh, like um, in the look, they will like stay as they are. And um, okay, but they still like, I think they are open-minded, uh, but they still like smoke weed. That's weed for them, like it's very normal. And I think like uh, people are not like very religious in Marrakesh, Agadir, and what I mean like they are still Muslim. They just like not like you're not going to say like they are following all every rule of Islam, and if that makes sense. Okay, so no, Shivam, I wasn't talking about the embassy. It is like an office. Uh, it's like a school actually, and they have like a, an American office for people who want to go to study outside and they give you information. Uh, it's not the embassy. Yes, pretty good question regarding school. Um, okay, did I miss any question? Please, if I miss something, please let me know. I'm trying my best to answer everything. Where am I? <laughs> okay, when getting married, a Moroccan men open and understand your garden um, play into an argument. Okay, so there is like way different different men in Morocco. Um, yes, actually, it's going to be better if you're going to talk before like getting married because, but also like you wouldn't like to know the reaction. Of course, they are not going to yeah, of course, actually, you have to, you really have to talk about the agreements before marriage and letting them like what's okay for you and what's not. They are amazing. They are like Moroccan men are like very, um, you know, loving and giving and all of that. So if you're going to talk about agreements before, uh, before it, you will try, but actually, actually sometimes like they will feel shy if they can't like enforce something. And uh, so, yes. Teza and Casablanca is not comparable. <laughs> uh, people and in Teza, like they are like still like people are like uh, you know they are calm. They are like um, you know it's like you are still like find them in like uh, modern people. They are, I can see they are modern. Uh, Casablanca, you would find um, like modit modit moditity. How to say that in English? Like my English is like um, not. Going today, I can talk. <laughs> okay, so uh, I would say like Casablanca, they are very, very, very open. Like, uh, and uh, you will find them like almost same as outside of Morocco, or maybe like more. Uh, so you can talk about them 
with them about anything and everything in uh in like uh Tessa is like a small place like where is people like uh more like uh living a slow life and uh, maybe like not as open about everything so that this is how I can say my hubby doesn't like my tattoos okay so tattoos are haram in Morocco and um is not acceptable in Islam to have them but like uh People do have them, but actually everyone in Morocco that they have tattoos after after like a few months, they will regret it because they get bored very much with the looks. So, yeah. I plan to be with my beyond fantasy for the rest of my life, but I am the one coming into the relationship with the money. Is it true for, for me to for ask for financial agreements? Um, agreements first. Yeah, I do understand. So I said that many times, like um, in Morocco, like they don't have like enough money. So it's not like we don't want to or they can't find a better job because Morocco doesn't pay as much as good. Um, it's like if you are like, you would feel like sometimes like uh, he might like feel like um, shy and he might feel like, okay, she's like, she's like in demand because like they are manly and they like uh, feel like... Um, you will feel like the unless when like you're going to talk about the money because like you are the one who's coming with the money because it's not the same culture for them like they really uh feel like uh how to say it like less like they feel like uh they're not going to be on charge and they feel like, but it's like if you talked about the agreement i really i think like it's better to uh, like talk about everything before marriage and however the situation is he's going to understand anyway he has to if he loves you if uh, going to he's not going it's like depending of you the way you're talking to it's not like it's not going to be rude but probably he's going to be a little bit embarrassed so he's the one who's like he will feel embarrassed that he can't take uh be the one who's like having more and offering more but people are different if he is like very open-minded he's going to be okay he's not going even like to it's not going to be a problem Yes, men do it and you will feel you need to do it. Like you have to, <laughs> yeah, you have like really to talk before like marriage about this. It's like very hard to talk about, but I think it's like solving a lot of problems if you talk about it like before marriage uh, rather than after it. If you feel you need to do it. I have been in the agreement in the sign. Yes, actually it's like really good to, <laughs> to have something like this. Okay, bang, they make you feel like a queen if they can, however, they win a sack of both. Like. Yes, absolutely. This is what I'm saying, like, men, like, Moroccan men, they are, like, really good, uh, you know, but, uh, yes, uh, 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 Rita, I'm, like, um, I'm so much into what you said. This is, like, very correct. Being in love is one thing, but being smart is also another thing because, a lot of people like starting all in love and everything and after that they find like problems when it comes like to the culture or something like about the money and all of that and uh actually moroccans are not very comfortable to talk about money they are like really um they feel like very awkward to talk about it and very embarrassed and they don't even like to say like how much they get getting paid or how much they get like mildly so it's like uh something like people are not like like talk about it like all the time so it's like something they don't like used to talk about it but i think like as i grew up i say like it's like something very important to talk about okay how do you get that done so, so it's like this uh, about tattoos i have seen old women in morocco with tattoos in their face Yes, Omar, they have like a tattoo either over here or in this place. And uh, this tattoo is they like, came from like a very in history, which is like Fatima, which is like uh, the and they later they said like tattoos is haram. And I think like people nowadays, like old women are out of beauty. It's something like beautiful. And yes, Amazon old women they used to do it and they are still having it. I see them like the very old women, uh, but not anymore. And um, yeah, actually, it was like in the past in history, it was marked as some something like a tattoo in your face. Okay, let me see the second. Yes, it's Amazon, but not just the Berber. Actually, my grandmother from my mother's side, she had it, and she was like from Qaraat uh, Sragna, which is like almost near Marrakesh. And she's not Berber, but she had it like over here. 
and I was seeing it like beautiful. I was like, I miss her. Like she had like a little beautiful like uh, thing over here. Okay, um, here you, yes, he's being an angel, but I can't do through having another one who likes to secretly put my dresses on before I get uh, someone from work. Yes, I see. Um, if I'm an American woman, I should have a prima too. Um, it's about like actually the men and women, like what they ag agree about. This is what I said like to her, like it's very important to talk about all of that. So as I said before, like in Morocco, like culture, like the man is the giver and the woman is like, um, it's like in old like times. So the man who's like uh, paying for everything. So this is like, what's your name? Uh, Bang Valenzuela. Okay, so in like, um, we grow up that the man who's like should pay for everything and this is like um what he does why girl like even if she has the like, job so her money for her makeup to take care of herself to look good and if she wants to help then she can maybe she can help but she doesn't have to so when the man does not have like um enough money he feels insecure and if the woman like uh having more money than him he would feel like uh, wordless and insecure and embarrassed. So most of men in Morocco, they would like marry so that he's going to feel like very strong and manly. So when the opposite happened, keep like feeling insecure. So that's what's happened. So yes, uh, Dominic is like depending on the agreement between you and the women. Every woman in Morocco is different, but like majority, you know, uh, okay, so regarding the wedding, if it is like Muslim wedding, then what's your words and what's his, isn't it? A lot of then actually in Morocco, they have like two kind of weddings. The man wedding, where it's like, it holds all like man family and like the others come as a visit, like, like visiting. And the second wedding is like the, the woman wedding, if she wants to do it. So like, again, with the agreement, if they agreed, like they're going to have just like one huge one. But the thing is like Morocco is like within, like they have like a big family. So he's going to have like all the family over there. This is why they do like separate within. And she's attending his wedding and he's attending her wedding in different days. So if they agree to have like one, then like they can do it and share like expenses. You know, this is like about them. Like uh, if like the woman doesn't have enough, then like, she would say, like, I don't have enough, so you do your video and I will be attending. So it's, like, funny, but this is, like, what the thing. In the South, actually, in the South, they have, like, within for seven days. Honestly, seven days straight. Like, they would keep, like, uh, celebrating for the whole seven weeks. weeks. Like, uh, having all kind of food or, like, uh, dancing, like, for seven days, happy for seven days and all of that. But... Their like things, they would like just do like a little wedding, and some of them they just decided not to do any wedding and travel instead if they don't have enough money for wedding and they just like want to do something and that's become something okay. Before in the past, if you're going to get married without wedding, it was like something bad, but nowadays it's something become like very normal. Okay, she didn't do wedding, she did not want it to, but if like uh, she's already rich or like she, and she did do it, that's normal. If like uh, she's like having a normal salary and she didn't know, she like, oh, she's like poor and her uh, her uh, husband is poor and they couldn't do with this. And like Moroccans don't like this kind of uh, talk. So this is what they do their best to save up a lot of money so that when they get married, they will have a wedding. I hope I answered, I'm sorry I'm talking a lot, but it's like very good to talk about this topic because I know a lot of people get married, like uh, this is why they learn the language and it's good like, to talk about this because i have kids and i don't want to convert and obviously about the money and the main wives yes Avita, actually um if you are a woman married to a muslim man you don't have to convert but if, if uh, like a girl who is like going to get married to a Moroc like a non-moroccan man he should be converted and let's become from a very rich family the same yes like actually girls not going to give the money it's no way like okay don't 100 the woman would never give the man 
let money in Morocco. Never, like never. Like, uh, uh, okay, so I was always like talking about 90%, 99%. So I would be like 99.9% of Moroccan women, you're not going to expect them to share everything or like uh, to give you like um, money. And we don't, they don't believe in 50-50 and, uh, but they're still going to help. Like they're still going to help. If they marry someone and he's not able like uh, to do everything by himself, of course they can like work and help for like the family and, uh, you know, the kids, but to get the money. Okay, you will really find like girls like this. I don't think it's same as this. Okay, so thanks for the inputs. Okay, um, let me see where I'm. Where I'm <laughs> actually like a lot. Of, um, here we go. You talk about. Yes. Okay, where I am, like I'm really like uh, confused where I stopped. Hassan uh, Khatib, here we are. We're talking about my people. You're talking about it's like my people too. I'm just like seeing like uh, <laughs> what's happening. Um, okay, I answered that. Thanks for your input. Uh, Amazon within is very beautiful. They have like um, also like a cultural within which is like very nice and beautiful. I read and Maria that your asset is not. Okay, uh, Muslim men can be married to a Christian or Jewess, but not only with Muslims. Yes, absolutely, Blanca. This is what I said. Let's sign clearly before marriage. Yes, that's it. Man, a man, but yes, she can have all my money. Uh, I will be dead anyway, so. You can't keep it all for it. <laughs> uh, Dominic, you have to marry someone who, who says like she yes, that you can have it all day long or night long. That's why it's written that I have no intention to converse. Okay, nice. Buy her a beautiful kaftan to wear around the house. <laughs> yes. Uh, big city like Azabaka when this sits in restaurants. What do you mean, like, this is in restaurants? Of course, this is in restaurants and coffees and everywhere. Oh, I see. Like, five minutes. Oh, my God. I see that, like, I'll select like, too many within, like, uh, and you don't take here, like, my answers, like, right away. I, there's nothing I can do about it again. I was at the wedding in Montana of Desert Mines to right? a uh, when we're dancing, sometimes it's just your interest. Mm -hmm. Money is not something like we, do, we don't really see like in person, it's always, always in person. Mm, are you going to have uh, the 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 music? <laughs> you do? Oh, yes, I do. I to say. You do? Yes. yes, I do. You do what? Like in a, in a, actually in Morocco, you have to be specific. So we don't have the auxiliary verb. So we need to to use the verb. We use, need to use the verb to answer with. Uh, so, uh, the thing about like, like what's beautiful about Moroccan women is like you can have like many dresses, and typically, or, or, like um, the normal traditional Moroccan women, they have like seven dresses that you have to do in the wedding, and you exchange it, and the wedding like does um, from like uh, two p.m. till like whole night in the morning. So it's like many hours. It's like very really, uh, tiring. It's like very really stressful. So yes. I can I am um, not know to all that, but I can play the two two. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm Moroccan. I can dance like Moroccan dance. 
and I'm talking about readings, but this conversation has my head spinning. This is a lot to think about. Uh, uh, actually, yes, Moroccan um, readings are very like other readings because other readings like just like you have to think about like all preparation and one uh, one drink. Actually, normally having seven. Um, and one, it should be like uh, the white dress. So the white dress normally is the last dress that you are wearing. So you keep like wearing traditional dresses, like stick to them, like you change them, you change them, you change them. And then in the end, like the last one, it should be like uh, the white dress. Wait. Good <laughs> uh, organizing anything in Morocco is makeup. It's like a specifically like uh, within makeup. So they have like so called the the artist that like, she does the makeup and also she's the one like like who's like making dresses and showing you dresses and all of that. So. Yes, and then like you have to call all the guests, and if you have not, you should like you should not forget anyone. Like, like someone gets mad, actually gets mad and upset. Um, it's everything. Yes, it's good when you put. Uh, it's always conversion is uh, uh it's very good, but it's actually it's good about certain things. So you have like always to say something. I need and I want six minutes. <laughs> a lot of big tables and every table have like uh, have like team people. I mean, like to go and stand and dance. I know how to dance. It's not I know like the bitty dance, uh, the normal dance and all of that, but not like the shabby dance. So shabby are like the music that they put in like um, the weddings. And uh, actually, it's like really good music it's just like I was not into it and it's It's really good to see, like, um, I really didn't know. Like you guys, actually, like tell me when. Like you don't have like um. Oh. Um. Wow. I did not know honestly. So I um. Uh... Oh, I didn't know this. <laughs> I was talking by myself. I can't defend it. I thought you would have 
uh, I thought like you would have like uh, tell me that if like it happened. So I was like, is it the Wi-Fi going good? I didn't know. Yeah, I'm I'm a Zig, I'm a Zig man man like in general like creating um uh the wives good like they are like really good with uh, the wives um yes they are like really um like good husbands and I never in my whole life heard like someone who's like I'm a Zig, like any Berber guy who's married to a woman and she was complaining like they would never complain. And I honestly, I would say that like Berber like guys, they are like really um, treating the wives good and the family. They would like um, you know take care of everything and all of that. Uh, they would like never say bad to you. They are like very respectful. You will ha never have to ha like think like uh, to um, like honestly, you would never have to uh, to be like uh, worried that he's going to shit on you or anything. Like they would never do that. So, very um, many people they are like like known of not like uh, lying. They are like religious. The uh, most of like mostly like they are like very religious. They don't cheat. Um, they try the woman good. They will give gifts. They will like um, basically they are really like a good uh, husbands. They are good husbands. So Arabs uh, when Arabs like most of the time they are like. Um, you know, uh, kind of variety. Some of them like um, very good. Some of them they are liars. They might cheat and all of that. But like guys who are known of like being like like liars and womanizers as actually guys in the north. Uh, they are like very known of being like uh, lying a lot. <laughs> and but the girls in like the north, they are nice. They are the opposite. They are like very sweet, very gentle. Uh, so yes, like um, this is like what's like no no. Guys, do you hear me good now? Yes, actually, Moroccans they are very known of liking to argue and find like a part of relationship that's a must, and they feel bored if they are not going to argue. <laughs> Sometimes I busy um, ladies marry a Muslim man. He is. Arabi um, la sir mission. Arabi la sir mission. Yes. I heard that Amazigh can make a mean baby uh, going degree is the straight up. Take the sheep to food, like even like uh, places are different what they like and what they dislike. So people in Mar so people in Marrakesh and like area of Marrakesh and Qalat um, Slarna, if like someone know, they eat a lot of meat, like red meat. Uh, so they have to have it every week. So uh, people in like the north, they must have like fish. They love fish and chicken. They are like rarely eat like um, red meat. So, uh, Tamazi people, they are known of a certain food, like a different dishes. Um, people like Blanca they do everything. They would like to do something like from other countries, like different dishes out, like international dishes. Like, uh, they would like to do that lasagna, pa lasagna, pasta, meat, tagine, everything. They would like, uh, it's, it's a variety. But, yes, yeah, Tamazi, like, they do... Amazing. Is Safi considered no? Mm, I think so. Let's see. Okay, Safi, Safi is like a city by itself. Let me write that. I'm thinking, um, okay, let me fix something here. Oh, I see. Let me just like I opened another one, like, an um, 
No, I don't think it's like uh, it's like from the north. It's like Western. And we call it SP actually. Okay, where are we? Yes, I do. You don't have to like kids. My healthy does that is again. I'm awkward. We need it's me for okay. game. <laughs> uh, yes, like um, it's an expression from the movie for a day. You know, Chris Tucker and Esco. Oh, uh, I don't like the movie Friday, but you need like in Chris Tucker is like, okay, not like that movie, what's it called? Like, um, the Tuckers might, must die. You ain't gonna, you're going to lie to Greek. You ain't gonna, got to lie. Uh, probably Moroccans wouldn't understand this expressions. What would that so call? You are very lucky, you not so as some photos of your me. First you guys, what is Yes, actually Moroccan men, they are like going to eat everything and we are like very, um, uh, we are like very, um, how to say it, like we are very open to food and we like uh, all different food. Uh, people who are like, like the Alex, some people who are like really, um, you know, picky, but like uh, not everyone, like most of people eat everything. For me, I would like eat everything. Of course, like we don't eat pork. I'm just. I thought so, actually. That's like, um, I don't know, like, um, Um, yeah, um, I don't know, like, uh, okay, shall we, like, uh, end the live, or shall we continue, I don't know. I will, uh, I'll wait, I'll wait like one, one minute. Okay, is this good now? Okay, is this good now? I'm really like trying, I really like want like to go further and sell a Moroccan moon, man. Is it, it is bitter? I hope so, like, uh, because we really haven't still, we haven't like uh, did the language, uh, uh, you know, practice. We've done, we're talking about the weddings, weed and weddings and uh, smoking and drinking and all of that. 
So, but I did like, uh, like open like another one, like uh, I opened another page and I see that I'm layer in behind. So, I'm trying like really, I hope like if it's going to work, I, I really want to go on and like uh, teach. If not, I will try to record the, uh, the video uh, that I told you about like the Moroccan Proverbs part two, uh, because the Wi-Fi is good, we can like just chill and talk uh, as long as we can. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to... <laughs> okay, where is like Shiva? What did it say? Shiva? Okay, again. No. Maybe. I don't know if you hear me, guys. I'm just like typing. I'll see you tomorrow actually. I'll uh, see you uh, tomorrow and have our morning tea talk. Inshallah. 
I don't know if like you're hearing me right now because I'm like just trying to type because since you can hear you don't you can't hear me or see me. Um so yeah, because since you can hear you don't you can't hear me or see me. Uh, oh really? I didn't know. I was like really quiet because I thought like you don't hear me anyway. Oh, so it's like already working now because like um I think Nominic said that like, it went black. So I just like kept like for typing because uh, I thought like you don't really see me. Okay, that's great. I think yes. Okay, I see now. It's like already is like moving for like people who see me. So I was confused. I thought like you guys you can't like uh, really see. So I was like just quiet. I was like just like trying to uh, to type. Okay, so the Wi-Fi that I do now is like just uh, almost like a 20 euro. Uh, but like I, the, the one that I know is like uh, 50, maybe like I think 60 euros. So I think it's like 60 euros monthly. But the thing is like, um, I, like I'm paying everything for myself because uh, my father doesn't live with us and I just like me and my sister. So I have to take care of the things. So it's like uh, really tight on the money if I would do that. So that's why like I was like trying. So at the first I thought like it's going to be good because everyone have like the, I heard like everyone have the the, the company that I have is like good for them. So I thought it's the opposite Morocco man. So I thought like the, it's the opposite. I thought that Morocco Telecom is the bad one and Inway is the good one. And so I just like good in one. Do you know how much is the fiber optic though? I was just like try and ask them because I'm like so fed up with uh, the Wi-Fi like this during the night and especially because I work or, like with it um, all the time and it's like a part of my life. This is my whole life. This is how I, you know, it's like, uh, in, uh, so I was just like, see, but I'm glad that you can hear me now. Let me know whenever it stops. So I was like actually quiet because I thought you guys don't hear me. So I was like just typing so I cannot answer in all of that. But I'm glad that you enjoyed the lesson. Like uh, we already talked about weddings and weed and you know all of that. Okay, yes, Yeah, I told so. So this is the one that I heard of actually. I heard like um, is uh, uh, five hundred yeah, fiber optics win. Okay, Makihbish, like he doesn't stop Moroccan man. So if it's like, going to work well, I'm just going to try my best and. Um, like you just like get rid of this one. Okay, yes. So actually I was like thinking like I was like really thinking about Great. If it's amazing then like I'm I'm doing this is like what I heard. I heard like people who are working a lot like um you know, with the Wi-Fi and all of that. Uh, so they are like the winnings. I heard like it's between 500 dirham and 600 dirhams. Uh, so yes, it's like monthly, but I don't know like how much you pay it first because you pay something in it. Yes, Moroccan man, I told you to send me your number through my Gmail so I can add you, but you did not send me your number. So I didn't know how to add you. Because I lose your number, this is why I told you, like, this is my Jimmy. This very job of this Gmail content. So send me your number again, and I'm going uh, to add you in the, the group. This is why I didn't add you. Okay, so guys, uh, you, if you still hear me, so... We still going to. I'm going to be live tomorrow morning and at night, and we're going to try to go like aerial at least because today when we started early, it worked at beginning. So we're going to try to make it work till I change like this Wi-Fi and get the new one. Uh, I hope. I hope it's going to be soon. I really hope so. And for people who want to join my feed WhatsApp group, uh, like the feed one is like not just the WhatsApp group, it's like because all the work is going to be on the on the
it's going to be on the on the, the Facebook group, and we're going uh, to have like um uh, like twelve hour Facebook group, and we're going uh, to have uh, like twelve hour like twelve hours. So uh, if anyone interested in that, I'm going to send you the details. Like just like send me a message on the Gmail. It's going to be like a very serious like um committed like work. Of course, like all the work is going to stay on the Facebook group. And um, so it's like a really amazing program. It's just if you are interested in really amazing program, it's just if you are interested in that, you can like just Gmail me and I'll give you all the details. For people who are interested in one-on-one -on -one online listening, you can contact me also through my Gmail and I'll give you the information. And yes, I will try after that, like I will try to record either the video today and like just, um, you know, upload it. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, I'm going to try to answer it before I go. <laughs> Inshallah. Yeah, it's like a really, um, I didn't, I didn't know what to say. Yeah, um, but I'm glad like at least like we made it work in the beginning, we talked good, we had some information about the weddings and what to expect in the different cities and all of that. Yeah, I'm sorry you hear now like some noises. My my sister like in the other, she didn't close the door so like you can hear like the kitchen. Okay, yeah, guys, if you have any questions, please just ask. Signs like the <laughs> yes. Um. Yes, it's very important. I know how important to know about the culture. So, like, culture is like a very huge part of uh, in Morocco. So, if you are going to have a Moroccan boyfriend, girlfriend, you want to get with a Moroccan. So, you really need to understand different things so that you can like uh, see uh, in your partner's eyes because people think in a different uh, ways. So, yeah, that's well. Omar, thank you. I'm glad that uh, Lily like learned something out of it. Uh, same for Brenda. And also, it's like uh, what's great about like the live and the WhatsApp group because you guys can share information for someone like who already experienced being getting married. They can like share the ex like uh, their experience. For example, Rita. And I'm really glad that you are getting married soon. So she's already like get to, through the process. Like for people who want to and study in the States. So also there's a process. So it's like really good to share information. And of course, when you also like do something and then like just uh, like later you will find someone doesn't know you can share information with them. I'm a Moroccan American in France, uh, living in Canada. I don't know much, much about Morocco. Um, yes, it happens. Actually, I know a lot of people in Morocco, like in France, that they are Moroccans and they don't speak, speak Darija. Uh, especially because parents, when they are like ab abroad, they don't really talk with Darija, they would use like just French because they think uh, French is very important for the, their, their kids to learn. But yes, I'm glad, yes. Um, Morocco is like 